Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, and today I'm taking part in a video series called One Villainous Scene, which is an event that a bunch of YouTubers are a part of, in which they talk about some of their favourite villainous moments in pretty much any form of media. If I wanted to talk about one of the obscure side characters in the Venture Bros, I could, because they're villains. But that's not what I'm doing today. When people talk about heroes and villains, it's normally associated with superhero media. I can imagine and probably assume that a majority of the videos in this one villainous scene playlist will be about superhero movies or shows. But I'm doing something very different. I'm not even entirely sure if I'm making this video correctly, but today I'm going to be talking about Rat in Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox. When looking at Fantastic Mr. Fox, the primary villains associated with it are of course Bogus, Bunce, and Bean. They are the characters in the film that definitely act as the biggest threat towards Mr. Fox and influence and impact his story greatly. They shoot off his tail, they kidnap his nephew, and they tear down his house and cause his family to go down and live in a hole and remain in those same living conditions by the end of the film. The farmers are the whole reason why the animals have to live underground because of the huge threat they oppose towards them. It is definitely safe to say that the farmers are the primary villains towards the animals within the film. But personally, there's another villain within the story that I think stands out way more. And that villain is Rat. Rat only has a very small role within the film, as the security guard of Bean's farm. Rat is definitely one of the most iconic and fan-favorite characters in this film, despite only having that small appearance and kind of a lack of a threat towards the characters, at least in the first half of the film. In fact, Rat is only seen within two scenes within the film the cider cellar scene and the sewer showdown scene. And I'm going to be focusing on the sewer scene, but we'll get to that a bit later. Rat is definitely the villain that is fueled with more character than the other three villains. Sure, the farmer threesome is great, but they don't share the same energy and exaggeration as Rat. Rat is introduced so well within the film with great visuals and a banger theme that plays while he's on screen. His character is filled with so many great quirks, and the voice performance by Willem Dafoe is amazing, and really encapsulates the overall vibe and aesthetic of the character. I can happily say, due to all of these aspects, that Rat definitely leaves an everlasting impact within the film, despite only being in two scenes. The fact that this character is so beloved, even as this little hurdle for the characters, makes his death later on in the film really sad. The scene as a whole is very emotional. There's a really deep confrontation between the hero and the villain. And now I guess I'm supposed to talk about this villainous thing that Rat does in order to lead to this confrontation. And sure, Rat doesn't do anything over the top. He doesn't throw the hero off a cliff or plan to conquer the earth. But he does show that he is somewhat of a threat to the Fox family. As he kidnaps Ash, Mr. Fox's son, and pulls a knife to Felicity's throat. In one of the best shots in cinematic history, god damn. But yeah, this whole event happens in very rapid succession before Mr. Fox returns to fight off Rat to get back his son. And as I say again, the whole scene is very fast paced and action packed and ends quite quickly. But that's okay, because the main emotional payoff of this scene comes when it slows down a bit. The moment of dialogue between Mr. Fox and Rat, while Rat lays on the floor, barely living in his final moments. <laughs> 
In this scene, we discover Rat's goal, and why he decided to oppose the characters in order to achieve this goal. All the characters within this film have very simple goals. The farmers simply just wanted to kill a fox. Mr. Fox simply just wants to not live in a hole anymore. And Rat simply just wanted some cider. Although the characters have simple goals, all of these goals are very elaborate and exaggerated within the story. For example, the farmer's simple goal to kill Mr. Fox is taken to extreme levels as they use excavators and even set up whole facilities with snipers in order to try achieve this goal. And this same kind of exaggeration is extended to Rat. He goes out of his way to oppose a threat to the main gang, and even steal the son of Mr. Fox for a simple goal being that cider. And sure, Rat did kidnap Ash and hold Felicity at knife point, but once you understand the simplicity of Rat's goal, you almost empathize with him. And the film does so as well. The film gives him a redemption. The boy's locked in an apple crate on top of a gun locker in the attic of Bean Annex. Sure, a villain's redemption is a very common stereotype. The villain has been this nasty character throughout the film, but something near the end helps them strive to give off an act of redemption. And Fantastic Mr. Fox does exactly that. Rat is now on his last breaths, and he tells Mr. Fox where Christofferson, his nephew, is located, as he was kidnapped earlier within the film. And by telling Mr. Fox these details, by helping Mr. Fox, he therefore gets his redemption. But not really. The film comments on the villain redemption arc in a very real and kind of somber matter. He redeemed himself. Redemption? Sure. But in the end, he's just another dead rat in the garbage pail behind a Chinese restaurant. The film essentially says that, yeah, the villain did have the redemption, but what was it worth? Rat still ended up dead, killed off by the hero in this truly villainous scene and interpret that however you will. The scene expresses messages that even after a villain gets a redemption at their dying breath, they're still a villain. They still did bad things. And when you die a villain, that death isn't really cared for besides the people that witness it. Mr. Fox cares as he sheds a tear to a potential friend that unfortunately was lost to wasted years as foes. And us as the audience care because we sympathize with the hero, as well as witnessing the villain's death. We've followed and watched this character's redemption, and therefore we feel the consequences of their passing. But in the end, Rat still dies. And as a villain, that death is just like another dead rat in a garbage pail behind a Chinese restaurant.